as my husband would say. Well, I'm coming to you today and I'm videoing all by myself. Although you may see Freya and Errol pop in and out because uh, we're parked here at home and uh, just got the van cleaned out, ready for our next trip, yay. But I wanted to come to you guys today and I talked to you about something that uh, I've really never talked to you much about and um, may answer some questions you have. And if not, it may uh, you may have questions by the time I'm finished. And if you do, that is fantastic. I would love to hear from you guys. I really would. Um, so you can private message me or you can send messages in the comments and I'll be glad to answer them. So what I want to talk to you about today is um, the difference between my dogs. And then also I'll give you a little bit of a background on how uh, how I came to have Arrow. Um, a Freya I got as a puppy uh, because I um, got her at eight weeks old because I wanted to use her to train her and to use her for training other dogs because um, she's a solid girl and she's just very easy going, very laid back. And um, she is just my sweet chilled out girl and I love her. And she handles every situation that comes to her. Um, she handles them great. She's getting a little older, so some things tend to bother her a little bit more than they used to. But um, I choose not to put her in certain situations that I know is gonna stress her out a whole lot, which is like camping during the summer. And so, uh, anyways, so just the uh, the difference between, and I wrote down a few differences and stuff between them. So the difference between Errol Freya one is Freya is very, she's very gentle and very loving, and um, which just sets her up for Arrow to just kind of run all over her, which I'm not real sure where he's at. Arrow, where are you? Arrow, come. And, uh, but yet she is my stubborn one at times. Let me see where he's at. Hold on. Oh, we're not going to dig. Get yourself in here. You know better. Come on. Have a seat up here with me. Thanks, buddy. Okay, scoot over. Okay. <laughs> and I'm back. Yes. So anyway, um, like I was saying, he, uh, oh, I don't want to sit on your tail, buddy. There we go. So anyway, he's, uh, she's very, she is my stubborn one at times. Uh, she can be a little, um, at times when I want her to do things. Uh, my husband says it's because she's a female. I choose to say it's just because it's just who she is. But anyway, she's a little stubborn at times. And, um, but she loves to learn. She loves to be trained. She's just, um, she's not a cuddler. She cuddles very seldom. And, uh, but she is a, uh, she likes to be where I'm at at times, but yet there's times where she likes to be by herself. So a lot of times when um, I'm in the house, like literally Arrow is like, when they say Velcro dogs, he's that. And then some, like, he would literally be in my skin if I would let him. And Freya, she's more, um, she likes to go to the top of the stairs and lay and just kind of watch everything from there and um, tries to uh, just kind of stay to herself a lot. And then um, Freya's very ball-driven, so she's a a low to medium drive but when it comes to her ball she's pretty high drive and uh and so um so yeah she's she's not too bad i mean but when you get her that ball like she's just a crazy girl and uh she's not as goofy as arrow she's a silly girl at times but she's not goofy like him <laughs> And so the one thing about Arrow is Arrow is a medium to high drive. So he's very easy to train. He uh, is very willing to work all the time. And so he's pretty much go, go, go until you sit down and you're like, okay, time to settle down. And he has a great on and off switch. And uh, 
he's goofy. And I think that's the one thing I like about Arrow is he is just goofy. Like he'll run into anything head on and whatever it is, he doesn't care. He just goes right 100% and he's just goofy. And, and he makes me laugh. And I think that's definitely one thing I love about him. And, um, he, uh, is a very much a clingy boy and he's literally stays with me. Like I can't even go to the bathroom without him or he's laying outside the door waiting. Um, but Freya's not so much that way. She's going to find a comfortable spot and she's going to stay there until she's ready to move. And so, hi guys. And, um, and he's very easy. He's very eager to please as well uh, when it comes to his training. Both of them are very intelligent dogs. Both of them are very um, easy to train and um, very obedient. Both of these guys are just super obedient guy and guys. But um, the thing, uh, an arrow. The thing about mouths are that you have to understand about them. If they're very mouthy dogs, even with all his training like he does this to Gary he doesn't necessarily do it to me as much but he will um get a hold of Gary's shirt sleeve and want him to go with him wherever he wants to go and uh so he'll he'll hang on to him and he does that but not in a bad mouthy way just uh he's just a girl and uh hey buddy and um so the difference mostly between them is they're both intelligent dogs. Uh, they're both working breeds. And um, the thing about it is Freya is larger than Arrow. He's a little taller than her, but she's more muscular and built. And he's more leaner and faster than she is. Um, they love each other, though, most days. Yeah. But anyway, there's a lot of difference. And... Um, and when people get down, they're like, okay, which dog is the best dog to have? Well, it depends on what you're wanting that dog for. Um, me, they're my companions, but at the same time, um, I train them both and they both have different tasks that they can, that they can do. And, um, so it just depends, but in all honesty, um, do your research, research, research before you ever get either one of these breeds, because from starting out from the beginning, as soon as you get them when they're puppies, they need to be socialized from day one. Um, socialization doesn't necessarily mean that they have to be held and loved and petted by everyone they see. They just need to be in different surroundings, adapt to those surroundings, um, be desensitized with loud noises and things like that. None of my dogs that I've ever had uh, have ever been afraid of storms or fireworks but I've always had them in every situation possible when I'm out with them or, you know, when we're doing fireworks or when a storm's coming or fireworks are going on, like I will play ball with them out in the back or do be out <clears throat> outside doing stuff with them just so that they can um, desensitize them to these noises and it doesn't affect them. So they're both pretty solid on all of that. Um, they both can be very destructive dogs if they're bored. So, um, Frey's a little older, so she doesn't have to have as much. Now, I wouldn't say exercise because I do three miles with them every morning, first thing in the mornings, and then I train them throughout the day. Um, I'll do probably about two to three training sessions a day with them. And those training sessions only, they don't look like, oh, an hour long. No, they may be. 15, 20 minutes long, and that's about it. And uh, and so that I do with them every day. Um, Arrow, however, has to be a little more active than Freya. Uh, so I work with him more so far as like, uh, you know, throwing his ball and not releasing him until I tell him he can be released. Just a lot of time is just, good job. Thanks for bringing it back. A lot of times it's just uh, keeping his brain active and and that can look like all kinds of different things. But like I say, if you guys ever have questions and stuff, you can always um, email me, text me, 
or message me in or comments and I will definitely get back with you guys on that. I know I seem a little out there today, but I kind of just wanted you to know about my dogs. He's a lot more of a cuddler than she is. It's funny to say because I don't know. A lot of them are though. A lot of Malinois are very cuddly and very Velcro dogs. But um, even though he is a cuddler, I don't feel like Mal's, my opinion and my opinion only, I don't feel like Mal's are great family dogs only because they usually have that one person that they're attached to. Whereas the German Shepherd is like, they're attached to the whole family. I mean, they'll attach themselves to a person at times, um, or they have that one person, but they're also very attached to their family in general. And um, Malinois are not necessarily that way. They're more of, they have their person and that's it. Uh, Arrow tolerates my grandkids. Um, he loves my one granddaughter that he was brought up with and then he's been around my grandsons and he's fine he's fine with them but the thing about mouths is once they get overstimulated then it's like that drive just kicks in so you have to be really careful with that because then he can become mouthy and so um one thing i will say is he's never unsupervised ever which is why you will see arrows with us more than freya is and a lot of it is also because he, um, no one wants to take care of him. I'm <laughs> just, just kidding. Kind of, sort of. But anyway, he, I never board my dogs uh, because I never know what's going on with my dogs or what's happening. I always want to know what's going on with my dogs. And uh, I never want them to be in a place to where I don't know how they're being treated or what's going on. So anyway, they're always with us. Um, I mostly keep Arrow with me just because Arrow has to be supervised more so than Freya because uh, he gets his, he can get his stuff in trouble, but also because the mouths are different personality wise. They're just different. They just are. And so they have to have a lot more supervision. Um, he has to have a lot more supervision than Freya. I'm not going to speak to each and every Malinois or German Shepherd because everyone's different. Everyone's dogs are different depending on how you raise them, what situations they're in. If you're if they're in big families, then those dogs are going to get adjusted at times. So you just, I mean, I can set and not going to speak for other people. I'm only speaking for myself and and my dogs. But anyway, um, they. Uh, You know, just both breeds, people are like, what are the difference? Well, the likeness of them is both breeds need a lot of, um, they need a task. They need something to do every day. Um, <clears throat> Arrow's job is protecting us from the squirrels most days. When we sit on the porch, he protects us from the squirrels. But anyway, um, but I do have him with us the majority of the time just because, um, one, he's very no matter how much training he's had, uh, he's great with crate training. He's great at being home in the crate if I'm gone for hours. He's great at, um, but he's just not great being out in the house when I'm not there because he paces and he looks for me. I have uh, two daughters and they're the ones that have babies, dog sit my dogs sometimes. And then I have a dog sitter that comes into our home and dog sits them because Arrow doesn't do great in kennels. He gets very stressed. He, uh, well, when he just when we had him uh, neutered and everything, he ended up tearing his nose up um, from um, being in the crate and or in the cage and just kept on and kept on trying to get out. And it, he's just very high stress. I don't like to medicate them, so. I choose to keep him with me of uh, 90% of the time he's with me. And um, I have a little sheet here that I wrote some stuff down so I wouldn't kind of rattle on and forget stuff to tell you. But um, if you're looking for a loyal companion full of energy, you can't go wrong with either breed. But both um, bond with their human deeply. They really do. However, if you're looking for a family dog, the German Shepherd may be your best choice. 
If you're looking for a dog ready to work with endless energy and devotion, um, you specific devotion to you specifically, not the entire family, then your Mal is going to be your your best choice. Um, but yeah, I wrote down Errol loves us both, but he would literally live in my skin if I would let him guess. And um, but they're both, I mean, they're both great breeds. They're both great dogs. Um, like I say, he's a little more lovey than she is. This is him day after day after day. Like he's with me all the time, right by my side. Freya has never been that way. Even though I'm the only one that's ever trained and worked with her, she still uh, kind of likes her own space. But she loves my grandkids though. And so, uh, but yeah, so like, like I said, guys, kind of sporadic, some stuff here and there, but definitely if you have any questions concerning any training or, you know, um, yes, thank you. Any training or anything that you want to know specifically about the breed or whether they're right or wrong for you. And a lot of things that some people don't know is Arrow actually came from a rescue. Yeah. <laughs> and there's the goofiness actually came from a rescue. Uh, I work with three different rescues. Actually, I work with the German Shepherd Rescue and two Belgian Malinois and uh, Dutch Shepherd Rescues. So if you're ever interested or ha ever have any questions, I got Arrow when he was like five months, but I foster with them and, um, and also, so I've had a Mal's come through here as long as, as well as German Shepherds. And it took me about three years to decide on getting a Malinois. So uh, a lot of research, family that trains them. I mean, I have a, a family member that trains them for competition and stuff. And he's trained police dogs. And so he's my information source between that and a trainer here in the area that um, has worked with, that I've shadowed with and worked with him some. Uh, great people to have information from just amazing resources but um, I did get him from a rescue so if you're ever interested in one of these breeds I would say also another great avenue would be to foster to foster for a little bit if you feel like that breeds for you then that's fantastic if not then just know that you've actually helped out a rescue because these dogs um, when these movies and stuff come out, any movies that come out about German Shepherds or Belgian Malinois, then within six months, the uh, shelter or the shelters are uh, bombarded with them. And the sad part is a lot of times they can't adopt them out. They have to, uh, yeah, they have to be pulled by rescues because of their breeds. So that would be a good avenue to take. If you guys have any questions, I thank you so much for being with me today and spending this time with me and, and Arrow and Freya and but if you have any questions please just feel free to always uh ask me in uh in the comments or just you know if you want to email us then you're welcome to do that too and I thank you guys for being with us today and uh, I know I may have been sporadic and everywhere forgive me for that so I don't have my uh other supervisor here to uh, ask me questions and tell me how to do things. <laughs> so you guys have an awesome one and we will see you soon. Bye.